Hey everybody, how's it going? Benjamin Simons here. We're going to make a real quick video about the absolute joy that is MIDI Chase in Logic Pro X. Now, if you don't know what MIDI Chase is, I'm about to change your whole world. So let's say you've been writing a big old queue and you've got like all this MIDI that you've programmed in. Uh, and within that MIDI, you've got loads of um, long sustained notes and a lot of what writing music is is stopping listening back starting adding all that kind of stuff where you're creating as you go along now what's super annoying about um midi as it is a standard is that it sounds great when you play music from the beginning of where midi region starts so for example if i play this cue from here Then I think to myself, oh, I wanted to make a tweak actually here. Let me just play it from here so I can hear it. Oh, right, of course, it's not triggering the MIDI because I've not played it from where the beginning of that MIDI note starts. That's really annoying and it wastes loads of time. But there is a very simple solution to this. Go to File in Logic, go down to Project Settings, MIDI, Chase, and then click on this little button where it says Notes and you'll see that it defaults to Sustained. That's exactly what you want it. And then close that window down, um, and then you can start that. Um, you can start playing then from halfway through a region, you know, whatever you want. And I'm guessing it's chasing from where the note started to give you the audio that is, you know, that you're meant to be hearing from that point onwards. So that is MIDI Chase, the easiest time-saving tool within Logic X that I can think of, and a must-do for anyone that uses MIDI to write music. I hope that's been helpful. Press like, leave me a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on another video another time when I can think of something cool that I think might save you some time. Cheers.